the question is from 52 cards, three cards are drawn at random. Probability of getting one spade, one red queen, and one black king is A. 0.00235, B, 0 0.0053, 0 0.0698, and 0.0458. This question has been asked in TCS recently. This is a question on quantity aptitude probability. This is a question on quantity aptitude probability. I won't say it's an easy question, but at the same time, I won't say this tough also. I won't say it's an easy question, but at the same time, I won't say it's a tough question. You have to know, understand what exactly is probability. Similarly, you also have to understand how many cars are there in a car spike. You have to understand how many cars are there in a car spike, what are the designs. Then becomes this, after they have given 52 cars. If from 52 cars, unless you know what are there in the car spike, you will not know how to solve this question. Now, what happens is, probability, I can write probability as, as favorable by total. Favorable by total. See, supposing I want a black king, so I will come to it later. See, what happens is, card pack has got 52 cards. 52 cards. Red is paid. Red is uh, diamond. Diamond and half. Black. Flower and spade. Black is flower and spade, red is diamond and heart. So each design, there are four designs. Each design has cards, are starting on A is 2 to 10, Jack, Queen, and King. A is 2 to 10, Jack, Queen, and King. So they will be taken into four, 52 cards. Now I am talking about probability. Favorable total, what they ask is one black king. In case I want a black king, I'll add two black kings. In case I want a black king, I'll add two black kings, spade and flower. So the favorable of getting a black king is two out of 52. Suppose I want a red queen. So red queen will be heart in and diamond will be red queen. Favorable is two out of 52. Favorable will be two out of 52. This is the way of doing it. Now, I am going to trade both the kings as a separate unit. I am going to take because they are talking about a spade and also a black king. I can get both the kings. Spade king will come under spade, black king can come here. So, I am treating both these kings as a separate unit, treating it separately and then solving it. Treating it separately and solving it. So, first there are two king, black kings. What happens is the first probability, I want both the kings. Spade king also I want, I want the other king also. The probability of getting a spade king or other king, whatever it is, is 2 out of 52. The probability of getting spade king or other king will be 2 out of 52. Then I want a red queen. Again, it is only probability is diamond and heart king. 2 by 51 because one card is gone here. It will be 2 by 51. Plus, now only one black king is left, either spade or king. I want both. So it will be 1 by 50. Similarly, now, these two kings are taken separately. So what happens is in half, uh, class, they want a spade. He have taken the spade and instead of 13 cards here, because the king are taken a separate unit, I will be treating as a 12 unit spade card. I will treat it as 12 unit spade card. So it will be, for getting a black king, it will be 2 by 52. For getting a red queen, it will be 2 by 51. And for getting a spade, it will be 12 by 50. Now, first I can get a spade king, red queen, I will make this a black king, black king, or a black king, or a black king, and then a spade card, a spade, one spade. Now the spade can come here, red queen can go there, uh, similarly, spade, red king also can come here, then black and spade, or spade and uh, black king, similarly spade can come here. So the number of combinations I will have is 1, 2, 3, 3 to 2 will be 6. The same thing will be case here. So it will be into 6. Because black king, red queen, spade, spade and red queen. Then spade here, red queen, black king, black king, red queen. Then red queen here, spade and black king, either way. So now what happens is, it will be 6 combinations. It can come any time. So this is the 6 combinations. Now what happens is, 
12 into 24 plus 2 will be 48. 48 plus 4 will be 52. 48. This is 12 into because the denominator is same. The denominator is same. 12 into 2, 24 into 2 will be 48. 48 plus 4 will be 52 divided by 52 into 51 into 50. The whole thing into 6 into 6. This 52 will get cut. Now this will get cut. This will be 2 and this will be 17. 17 is 51. And into 25 will come here. This will cut. cut. So it will be 1 by 25 into 17. 25 into 17 is 425. 1 by 425. So you will divide this 1 by 425 because 16 and 4 are 1625 is 400 plus 425. So 1 divided by 425. 1 divided by 425. I am just writing it here. You can treat it. Write this separately. Oh, yeah. I write this separately. 425. Now this 1 will not go here. This 1 will not go here. So keep a decimal. 1 0 will come. Again it will not go. 1 more 0. Again it will not go. 1 more 0. Now 2 will be 850. It is 150, one, four, one more zero here, then 425 into 4, into 4 is 1600, not come here, 3. 3 is 75, 1275, now 25, 225, one more zero here. Now what happens is, 4 into 5 will be 2000, 235, so here it will be 125, 2125. 2125, 125 is still remaining. So you can go like this, 1250 again. So it's 1275 now, 1, 1, 2, 5, 0, 0, 2, 3, 5, 4 will come here. But there are the option of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, of course, TCS permits calculator, so calculator can exactly tell you what exactly is the position. Once you know how to do like this, then the calculator might be up somewhere. Uh, but the concept of doing it, you should know. So, unless you come to this position, the calculator is of no use. You will have to know how to come to this place, then the calculator helps you. So, the answer is 0 0.00235. This is the way of doing this problem. Understand it, split it, then it becomes easier. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions here in November. Wish you all the best.